Now we've got everything up and running about Moho. Before we create any project in here, we gotta change the default settings because we don't have, we don't want to do it every time we open Moho or create any new project. For that purpose, we're gonna go to File. Then you're gonna create project settings. Here, uh, there are these are the defaults, and you want to change the defaults, right? For example, the resolution you're talking about, dimensions, right? You can choose 1080p or 4K, right? You can also choose other dimensions as well. I'm gonna choose here 1080p, that is kind of normal or standard. Then uh, you gonna cr you can change frame rates. I'm gonna leave 24. Here, this is uh, a default scene length, right? So each scene by default has 240 frames. That is a kind of long, long uh, scene. You can change it. You can make it 280 or whatever. It's up to you again. Then we have a uh, background color. You can change the background color. If you don't have anything on the stage or if your background is not covered with any art work, then if you, when you render this project, it, it will be displayed by default, right? This is the color that will be, that will work as a background, right? So you, if you want to change it, you're going to click here. So you can change as per your need. So I'm going to leave as it is. Then we have another, a uh, few options here, depth of field. They are only relevant when you're, when you work in 3D project, because in the initial videos, we won't be talking about 3D. That is a very advanced stage. So when we cover 3D, we will alter these settings. For now, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna disable them. This part of the settings, they are render style settings. You can get an idea of how these affect things based on the preview down here. You can try out, but I recommend not to even change these because you don't have any control over these things, right? Let's say you're gonna click background again, just gonna alter how this uh, how the color is gonna fill right I'm gonna put it normal again stroke line lines right okay normal and layer styles right so uh, I'm gonna leave them for the moment as normal now we will look at these settings in here sort layers by depth this is again relevant to 3d project if you enable this this will make the Z axis in your project to push further from the camera and it, it will be sorted by the actual distance right again we are not dealing at the moment with 3d projects so I'm gonna disable them next is anti-aliasing this option smooths out the little jagged stair step pixels that show up along the edges of the shape keep this enabled noise grain is gonna add film grain effect to your scene and this will is going to decide how strong this effect would be on your scene. This pixelation will run pixelation effect on your scene that we will talk about these things in detail in later videos. So these options are for 3D rendering, right? When you render it, red and blue, it's going to render one frame for one eye and the other frame for the other eye. You can change these settings for uh, 3d rendering again we're not gonna go into it at the moment so i'm gonna make it none by default after all these settings i'm just gonna make is set as defaults so every time i open moho next time all these settings would be applied to my project automatically so i'm gonna click here so they have been set as default settings now i'm gonna click ok in the next video we'll talk about workspace